Hi guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this video, I want to share some tips with you guys on how to start your own YouTube channel in 2020. So just a disclaimer, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are all from my own personal experiences, are all my opinions. I am not a professional or anything like that. So I just want to put that out there. I've decided to make this video because given our circumstances right now, us being quarantined, well, some places aren't quarantined anymore. We have all the time in the world to do the things that we want, to spend time with our families. And yung iba na gaya ko na wala na tapos ng school year, kakatapos ng school year, we could go siguro summer vacation. We can't really, we can't really go out since, syempre, staying safe, yung safety natin yung priority natin dapat right now, hindi yung paggala-gala dyan. Ito yung naisip kong gawin video, kasi at least siguro sa, sa palagay ko baka makatulong din to sa mga nagbabalak na mag-cope ng YouTube channel nila dyan in the future or maybe in a week from now. Malay nyo. Okay, let's get on to the video na. One question is what do you really need when starting a YouTube channel? Ang unang prioritize ko nung naisip ko mag-start ng YouTube channel is a notebook. Bakit notebook? Ito, andito actually yung notebook right now. Notebook yung pinaka-importante kasi dito mo ilalagay lahat ng ideas mo, dito mo ilalagay lahat ng plans mo, dito mo ilalagay lahat ng flow ng kung ano lang ba. Sa isang video na to, like this video right now, nandito nakasulat siguro 2 to 3 pages yung sinulat ko dito para lang sa video na to. Kasi gusto mo maging organized ka para hindi magulo yung timetable mo or yung kung ano man yung plans mo for your channel. Pangalawa, isa din to sa pinaka-importante, hindi to bagay or anything na madali mo makuha. Pero you have to have this when you want to open your own YouTube channel. Having an open mind, being open-minded is very important. It's very crucial for one person to have an open mind when opening a YouTube channel. Bakit? Kasi not all people will agree with you. Not all your subscribers will agree with what you want, with your perspective. You have to have a mindset na ganun, na kailangan mo maging maintain tindihin. Ikaw dapat yung mag adjust sa lagay na to. Kasi what you're gonna do is you're gonna put yourself out there. People are gonna judge you whatever you do. So, it's very important na maging open-minded ka na lang. Kesa naman na maging sensitive ka na madali kang masaktan. Yes, it's normal for you to get hurt kapag ba, marami, may natanggap kang mga hate comments or anything like that. So, pangatlo na kailangan mo is confidence. Ako, ito yung pinakamahirap kasi natatakot talaga ako kung ano yung sasabihin ng ibang tao sa akin. Natatakot ako na bumaba and self-esteem ko. Yung mga ganong klaseng ano, yung mga ganong klaseng thoughts. But I realized na yung kaya nang sabi ko kanina, people are gonna judge you anyways. Whatever you do, whatever you plan to do, people are gonna judge you. So, sabi ko magiging confident na lang ako. I'm gonna mind my own business. Pero syempre magiging mindful pa rin ako sa ginagawa ko. So, the next one is goal. Keep in mind that when you are about to create your own YouTube channel, don't think about the money that you may get in the future. For example, Sobrang laki na ng channel nyo, malaki na yung marami na kayong subscribers, marami na kayong viewers. Siyempre, may possibility na mabayaran na kayo ng YouTube sa mga ginagawa niyo videos. Never set that as your goal. Ang goal mo dapat is mag enjoy ka lang. Ang goal mo dapat mapapasaya mo yung viewers mo, yung ganun. You have to make this your hobby. Have passion in making your videos. So, next one is equipment plus ideas. Yun nga, yung unang sinabi ko, have a notebook where you can put all your ideas and it'll help you manage your time and plan out what you really want to do for your YouTube channel. So, for equipments, um, it's not not necessary to have a DSLR. Before, when I started with my YouTube channel, I was only using my phone. Pero when I started working, I invested in a camera. Ito ang ginagamit ko ngayon, yung Canon G7X. Kasi parang gusto ko na talaga magseryoso sa pag-YouTube. Pero keep in mind na you don't have to have a DSLR. Hindi mo kailangan ng mamahaling camera. Kailangan mo lang. May phone ka, yung camera ng phone mo. Yun yung pang mo ng video. Yun yung importante. Maging comfortable ka muna bago ka mag-invest sa something na mas malaki na magastos. So, the next one is laptop. Ako, swerte ako kasi before pa ako mag-start ng YouTube channel, may laptop na talaga ako for studying. So, hindi ako nahirapan mag-edit ng videos. You can also use your phone, pero for me kasi kapag phone yung ginagamit mo, medyo mahirap since maliit lang yung screen plus for iPhone users ata, hindi ka basta-basta makaka-download ng sounds dito and malalagay mo sa phone mo. Kaya ako nilagay na kailangan mo ng laptop kasi mas maraming options yung pag-edit mo. Speaking of laptop, this brings brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about is about editing. Editing is so, so, so important 
important. I cannot stress this enough. I say editing is just a reflection of how serious you are when it comes to your channel, of how professional you are. So for me, I use iMovie na nasa laptop na hindi pa ako bumibili yung mamahaling mga pang edit na ano kasi hindi naman kailangan, hindi pa naman kailangan sa ngayon. And I don't think that I'm gonna be needing it in a while since yung iMovie na or provide you naman lahat ng mga kailangan ko para sa videos na ginagawa ko. For my thumbnail, I use Procreate kasi dun ko na dun ako nag-edit dun kung may kailangan ako i-draw dun ko nalang ginagawa. I use my iPad for that. The next one is having a good content. When you post a video on your on your YouTube channel, it has to be something that you would want to watch. Hindi lang basta-basta dapat na sumasabay ka sa trend na, na ito yung nasa YouTube so ito din yung kagal mo videos. No! You have to make videos that you would want to watch your yourself. Ilagay mo yung sarili mo sa upuan ng viewers mo. Magugustuhan mo ba to as a viewer or no? Which brings me to the next thing I want to talk about. I mean, the last thing that I want to talk about for this video, um, consistency. Consistency, dapat maging consistent ka in posting your videos. Hindi lang, hindi ka lang dapat magpapost kung kailan mo gusto. Kasi once people subscribe to your channel, they are looking forward in watching your videos and your upcoming videos. So, napaka-importante yan. I mean, that's, a one, that's one thing that I need to work on right now. Since kapag sobrang hectic talaga ng schedule ko when it comes to school, hindi talaga ako nakapag-upload. But right now, since wala na ako masyadong ginagawa, pwede ko na yung magawa yung pagiging consistent. So, yes, yeah, siguro gagawa pa ako guys ng part nito kasi ang dami-dami kong gusto kong i-share. Pero ayaw ko din masyadong pahabain tong video na to. I hope you guys find this helpful sa mga nagbabalak na gumawa ng sarili nilang YouTube channel. Good luck, kaya nyo yan. Support ako sa inyo. If you guys have any questions, yung social media accounts ko nasa description box. So, ilalagay ko din sa comment section below. Because I know some of you guys don't really read the description box. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!